Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Wow, look at this. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete. RealAgriculture.com, a wheat school on sulfur. Look at the deficiency that we're seeing here. It's the spring of 2016. One of the coolest and driest springs on record the last 30 years. April, incredibly cool. Makes a huge difference in how much sulfur release we get. 10 years ago, we didn't need any sulfur in Ontario because we got so much out of what they, we called acid rain. Farmers really should have called it free fertilizer. Now, we've done such a good job of pulling the sulfur out of the diesel fuel, the sulfur out of the coal that gets burned, so much less coal gets burned in general. We have to buy sulfur, and it has to be part of our fertilizer program. A year ago, I would have said if you have manure in the rotation at a decent level, you don't need sulfur. This spring proved me wrong. So growers that I would never have expected need sulfur didn't use it in the spring, and they ended up with this kind of a problem. And this kind of a problem can cost you 10, 15, 20 bushels per acre. And that's because it's only a little spot that's affected. This spot right here could be a 50% reduction. It's just that the sulfur isn't all over the whole field. At the end of the day in Ontario, we're almost to the point now where every acre that grows wheat needs at least 10 pounds of sulfur in the sulfate form. That's the plant form that it gets picked up. I like it best in the spring and it's just part of the program. 10 pounds minimum. If you want to buy a little more, 15 or 20, go ahead. But sulfur is needed for wheat production in Ontario as of 2016 and that's a change in the recommendations, full stop.